What is poppin' fam? Your boy Just Jay Summers in the building, and today we are talking about Watch Dogs 2. Um, so after about 10 hours of gameplay and you know going up, uh, probably doing I'm not even sure how my, I'm probably only 30% into the game. I really haven't done that much, honestly. I feel like I'm doing more exploring and more multiplayer stuff. I have about 630,000 fault. No, 700. Hold on, actually, let me look. At this current time, I have 666,000 followers out of uh, 700, 702,000, which is the current block that I'm on. So I know the game is over once you hit a million, so we'll see what happens there. Um, and I haven't even gotten all the gadgets. I haven't even got half of the gadgets, half of the weapons. Like, There's a lot of stuff I'm either missing or there's just more of this game than I'm actually playing. I'm so confused. But I wanted to talk about the number one issue that I've run into for Watch Dogs. Now, there's been a couple of issues that I've had with the game, um, but none are more bothersome than this. Okay, so the driving is a problem um, because it's so inconsistent, but I think above that is I thought it was going to be the multiplayer, but as I really like dove into the game a little bit more, it's kind it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. And let me explain. It's really disappointing to be playing the game and then all of a sudden your game takes a random frame rate dip. Like it goes from a smooth nice 59 maybe 60 frames per second you'll just be driving around like not going too fast but obviously if you pick up the speed a little bit too much the game does get really laggy which i really really don't like um and in total it happens a lot because there are players uh in your lobby that happens a lot like normally uh i'll be driving around and i'll see a player come out of nowhere like he's just whipping around a corner and i'm like oh okay that's cool that scenario would be fine in the like if the game wasn't so bugged out but because uh everybody's internet is different and i think it runs a peer-to-peer -peer system so it's based upon like your internet my internet upload and download speed uh my internet is dope like i i know that doesn't have anything to do with it it might you know i have 47 up and 10 down you know like at its best ethernet cable plugged in and everything which i don't use wireless i use ethernet so it's a little irritating when i'm playing the game and somebody will spawn into my game and i'll know it i'll instantly know it because my frame rate will just dip to fucking less than 20 frames like like the game will be at a stud like a stutter forever like for a good minute and then uh, obviously you can tell as soon as it says, oh, your online session has been disconnected or this person has left the game, the game runs fine. It runs smooth. It, it, it's, you know, running in between 50 and 60 frames per second. So it kind of bothers me how often that happens. And this is before the game is even officially out. Like, who knows, on Tuesday when more players get on the game and there's more people interacting with each other online and offline, like jumping in and out of games, it's gonna be fucking terrible so i'm just a little concerned with how how it's working so far but so far i'm loving the game the game is a lot of fun it's way more fun than i thought but this is the problem that Watch Dogs one ran into was the frame rate issues when you're driving when you're going online when you're coming off of online the load times like a lot of these things have major issues even when you're running from cops like running down alleyways and you know past different streets and stuff like that and there's more than two cops cop cars following you or more than four officers the game starts lagging hard fucking core like it is terrible so and I, e I even tested it i went to the game options i turned off the uh the online invasions i turned off all the online interactions whatsoever and the game still was dipping in frame rate so i had to turn the game off and, you know i had to eject the disc put it back in and then the game ran fine up until a certain point where I drove too fast and then it ruined the rest of the game. Like, when I was driving at a certain speed, it just hit my game hella fucking hard and frame rate just dipped. So hopefully this is something that they'll be able to hot patch in there. If not, they'll be able to provide an update. But I'm not sure, like, how they're gonna fix this because this is a ser like a serious issue. Like, the game almost becomes unplayable. Like, unfucking playable because the frame rate dips so much. Like, it is borderline a slideshow. Like, like we're talking less than 15 images per second. Like, 
moving in in the world where you have players chasing you and some players may be moving faster than you like you'll even see them teleport across the screen and they're just moving so fucking fast that you can't catch them like even it, it, like if you're being chased and you're trying to specifically like turn corners a certain way hack certain things go th in, you know into garages and close the door behind you and then keep going it's like all of that stuff is very time sensitive so if you're running at 15 frames per second and the frames are not keeping up with your actions so if you're driving 60 miles an hour and it skips from the first 10 seconds to the last 10 seconds and you didn't even see your car move in between those those two points it's like oh shit i ran into three other cars and didn't even know it until it got to the next frame so it's it's a very very big issue and it's honestly the only big issue i've had with the game so far uh so if you guys are planning to pick up Watch Dogs 2 just please have a whole lot of patience for it like it's bothered me a lot but i really am enjoying the game i think the number one thing about the game is the fact that they didn't make marcus a coon like that is fucking amazing that he's he seems like a normal person like he's a he's a normal guy like it's not that oh i'm a black guy so i have to talk a specific way or i have to act a specific way he's normal and i like that i think that's dope i i like all the applications i like all of the stuff that you can do online offline i like pretty much it, the fact that you can do anything and it goes towards the story like honestly when i was making videos about i wanted the whole game to be co-op this is the whole game is essentially co-op because if you're doing a mission at any time literally any time whether you're doing a main mission a side mission uh, uh, a co-op quest other players can interact with you it could be positive it could be negative you're not really sure uh sometimes it's uh, you'll accidentally trigger a bounty hunt or sometimes you'll end up in a mission where somebody's trying to invade somebody else's game and you just happen to be doing missions within that same world so now there's three players that are interacting all trying to do their own thing where it's so it's so confusing and convoluted but at the same time it works so well when the game is not bugged so uh but that's that's pretty much it that's the biggest issue with Watch Dogs 2 if you guys are considering buying it you guys know i don't usually uh say oh a game is worth 60 dollars paying for this game is very close very 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 close like I, like i don't mind spending the 60 60 dollars on witcher matter of fact i should have spent 80 you know i should have spent more money on that uh grand theft auto obviously i've been playing it for three years 60 dollar purchase Watch Dogs 2 as much fun as I am having has got to be it's been non-stop fun there has not been a scenario where I wasn't having fun except for these extreme lag situations so outside of that the game is worth at least $50 so if you guys are trying to pick up this game and you're not really sure about oh I don't want to spend the full retail price or I don't know if I'm gonna like it I don't know if I'm gonna keep it take it from your boy Jay wait until GameStop has a couple that are that have been uh, used Go in there, get you a copy, play it for about 72 hours, okay? Give the game three days, all right? Give the game three days of you playing it an hour here, two hours there, you know, a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there. Give it a weekend, okay? Give it one weekend of playtime, you know, playing casually, not trying to be super hardcore and beat the game, because you're not, uh, because it's fucking long, uh, and see if you like it. It's, it's definitely something that you're gonna have to take into consideration the there are issues with the game there's very very tiny stuff it's not as big as as the original watchdogs like it's it's just not the problems are not that big but uh another thing i really like and dislike is the soundtrack the soundtrack is fucking amazing oh my oh, oh my lord it's just it's the greatest fucking soundtrack i've ever encountered in a game where uh sp certain specific situations would happen and a certain song would play on purpose and it's just the cue is so good and if you're playing with headphones obviously you get the full immersion of the game and like when the songs kick on and like they fade in a specific way it's just oh man it's it's dope it's amazing but at the same time it makes it so hard to make videos on like ridiculously hard Ubisoft I, I love the initiative it's great but could you at least like create an original soundtrack that's in the game that i can turn off all the licensed music and i can just have the regular game like the regular game music because when you're in cutscenes and you could tell specific songs should be playing like it should be conveying a certain move a, a, a certain a, a certain mood 
but unfortunately because you had to turn the music off because you're making a video you can't always get that same tone and get that same feeling without the music in the background so but that's pretty much for this video guys make sure to give this video a like i hope i actually have been able to convince a couple of you guys to try watch dogs too and it's not that i'm like oh i got the game early you know like i got i got support and all that stuff like that no i had to go and buy my own copy guys ubisoft did not even want me like it took forever to get them to fucking respond to me about when can i post gameplay like i had to show one dude i was like i was super serious i have the box i have the game he's like how'd you get the game first of all fam that's none of your business i like how you haven't been responding to me uh you know leaving a nigga on red but all of a sudden it's like oh shit he got the game already we might want to take him seriously like yeah you might so but like i said guys uh let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are are you picking up watchdogs and if not why please let me know so that way i can tell you you know what that's a valid reason or you know what that's not a valid reason okay so subscribe to the channel if you knew this has been your boy just jay sama and i will catch you guys next time make sure to keep it camp. Uh, 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 uh.